I know your interface and this time around we are going straight to the point and we would want to open the files that um, we saved earlier so you go to our you go to my computer call this computer then we open um, the computer we go to documents then we go to our exercise file and we open um, our Excel file introduction to Excel that's what we did previously um, so this time around we are doing the contains the file the home menu the inserts the page layouts the formulas the data the review and the view and the help okay so then each um, each, each one have different functions it, it performs and also you realize that we said that the file we use the file this menu to save our Excel sheets save us to rename the file to a location we prefer and save if we've already worked on the file before and we have new to open a new Excel sheet and we have open to open um, a file that we've already saved in a document on a desktop okay so then going straight to it you realize that with the home um, ribbon to realize that there is a clipboard this clipboard this clipboard is a shortcut and you click the cut when you have information let's say red you'll be using red link a lot because that's the channel we are working on now so red link um, solution let's say solution red link solution so the red link solution let's say we would want to cut it from e6 okay to let's say e8 so we click on the cut and we place it to um we are moving it from e6 to e8 so e6 to e8 here and we will paste it and with the paste button this is initially it was blank but now it has appeared because we've copied or we've cut something so we can now paste it on the on the on the on the e8 cell and i said that with the cell with the cell we label it by the the horizontal column and the vertical column the horizontal column being and the the, the column reference and then vertical column being the row reference don't forget that um also we have the font the font portion this font portion changes the font style you can take times new roman you can take this you can just take that we have um, our font size you can increase it you can decrease it you can increase the font size you can decrease the, the font size and also we can also increase the font size by using the big a big a so with the big a you realize that we are able to increase the font size and also we can bold in the cell and then bold in the, the, the writing with a b bold b and the italic i you press it and then, then you can underline it and also we can create a borderline so let's say we've created something like this and um, we've realized that there are other cells passing through what we've done so we want to create a borderline to extend it and we would use the borderline with the borderline we have a lot of options so when you read the options you realize that there is the bottom border which means the borderline gets at the end part and the top which means the, bot the, the borderline starts from the top and it doesn't um, affect other cells and the left and the right and the no borders and all borders and the thick borders and all that stuff we'll get into details and we have the alignment sorry with the home page we have the alignment um, portion with the alignment portion you can merge cells together merge cells together and you can align it um, you can do the, the the left alignment the right alignment you can do the, the center adjustment and you can do justification then we have the numbers this numbers is used to to instruct the cells to 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 contain specific qualities let's say general general means everything can go in you can write numbers you can write words numbers numbers which 
which means that the the cell would only contain numbers and we have currency which means the cell contains only currency the accounting we have decimals we have percentages so on and so forth and also if we would want to add some condition formation to it you can do it here we have styles for for headache and also here we have the cells so this cell when we want to delete a cell we highlight a cell we, we go to a row we highlight a cell and we want to delete a cell there is a shortcut here to delete it to press it to delete then, uh, yes and also the insert tools um we would be touching it whilst we're going forward so we just need to know what it entails and um, we have the table you can insert a table you can insert a picture you can insert a shape an icon a 3d model and um we have other internet supporting here this one you're not going to be using it much you you can even be adding charts um let's say you are doing statistics and you are doing pie charts and all that stuff these are the um the tools we will be needing for it and we have the page layout and the page layout also if you would want to um write the things we want to, the orientation means that we want to portrait it or landscape it portrait means it's it's, it's vertical and landscape means it's horizontal then the margins and the size um you don't need to to stress yourself with this one because we will be doing it whilst we're going forward and we have formulas and there are a lot of formulas here the summation formula and the recent the financial formulas we have data we have reviews we we'll go through all this stuff so we just want to create a fair idea for what um the ribbon tools contain and we have the help column also here thank you very much um for watching and our next topic we are going to talk about selecting cells so and don't forget to subscribe our channel